the Late Bell Learning Forum builds on a tradition of learning and engaging with grantees, but also it's an opportunity for us to highlight the work of our grantees. And we ensure that today's program will be one that's meaningful to all of you and a rich learning opportunity. One thing that I enjoyed the most is especially networking and getting to meet all the other youth organizations that are basically in the same boat as me and have the same types of questions and challenges and struggles that we face daily. While we hear from government that they've been doing things, they know things are changing, but in fact, if it is changing after 20 years, why do we have the same concern of people not feeling like they are included in the system, people not feeling like they're reflected in the system. There needs to be more spaces that are youth friendly that other youth can learn from each other. It's by capturing the voice of that community collectively at a table, understanding what their priorities are, bringing the organizations and the, the services that are available and realigning them so they align with the needs of that community and collectively setting goals. I enjoyed this, the session that I was just in right now, which is the, uh, what was the wellness session where everybody shared their experiences and there was a lot of honesty and uh, a lot of trust uh, being built amongst the participants. The other part was having the workshops be interactive and being able to move throughout the whole room with the other participants and being able to learn the lessons but in a very um, tangible form. That was the best part. What I really took from this event was also the evaluation workshop that was really important and what the facilitator imparted to us was the fact that you have the power and the strength to tell your funder that the evaluation tools that you want me to use aren't necessarily the ones that are best for my program, that we have the flexibility to use other ones that fit our program and fit the needs of our audience much more. The funder is asking us to evaluate our program this way, but actually those questions are not relevant. These are the questions that we want to talk about or these are the questions that we hear young people who use our program talk about. You're never going to have a safe space when you work with multiple people in one environment, but you can have a brave space. It's going to be real. You're going to have fights. You're going to have different things happen. I do this thing called brave space because for me, if I'm going to be sharing my heart and I'm going to be doing this entertainment and be like all fun and love and whatnot, I need some interaction from you. I need to have make sure that this is a space I can do that. I'm just going to say we're going to create a brave space together today. Music is my expression. It's my healing. It's community healing. It's really what help to uplift us in, in really tough times, as we all know we're in. I believe that Indigenous communities are the first philanthropists of this country, of Canada. Without the deep generosity and the reciprocity and relationship of Indigenous peoples, what we have here in Canada wouldn't exist. Many of the Indigenous teachings tell us that relationship comes first, that we have to start with kindness, and in order to, to come to the place with kindness, you have to come open to develop in a relationship. We've been very picky and choosy about the types of relationships that we engage with them. Come to understand the stories and the history. Uh, take the time to do the leapfrog between kind of what happened in the past and how that continues to exist today. We have to listen to our young people. We've had young children coming suicide left and right because we're not listening. You know, we've all been to conferences before, and then how do we move forward from them? Like, how are we actually taking away something tangible from it? Um, I ho really hope that you've been able to learn some uh, golden nuggets through some of the workshops, and I hope they are as experiential as we could have made them. 